Good morning. Um, for the bell ringer today, let's talk about an old quarterback. In 1983, Terry Bradshaw played one game, his very last as a professional football player. He made five completions and eight attempts for 77 yards with two touchdowns and no interceptions. What was his quarterback rating? Let's recall this from yesterday's lesson. Uh, you have uh, percent completions, uh, percent touchdowns, percent interceptions, and yards averaged per attempt to help us calculate that. And I think the answer is right here. Amazingly, at a rating of 177.6, what statistic do you think had the most effect on his rating? I would probably say that the five of eight and the 77 yards out of eight attempts – just and no touch, no interceptions and two touchdowns probably helped him good. All right, good things. All right. So uh, let's see what some good things we can talk about. Well, it is Wednesday. It's Hump Day. I guess that's good enough. Let's continue. All right. So today's lesson is on fan cost index. What costs were associated with the last sporting event you attended? Now think about this: ticket price, concessions, souvenirs. Spirit items, all those things cost money, right? So, as the cost of attending a professional baseball game increased more than the rate of inflation over the past few years, for that matter, what about the cost of going to a professional basketball game, the NBA, or even the NFL, for that matter? I mean, how much does it cost? And um, can we compare the cost of going to a baseball game versus a football game versus a basketball game versus a hockey match or anything for that matter. Um, they have something called fan cost index that actually does that. It's an index um, and an index is called a numerical scale. Characteristics of an index can be used for the following. Compare variables with one another for or a reference number. Give information about general trends and to help make comparisons and judgments. In this case, it's more about comparisons and judgments. It's often calculated as a weighted sum of various factors resulting in a single summary number. All right. The FCI, compiled by Team Marketing Report, tracks the cost for a family of four to attend a professional sporting event, regardless of the type of event, Major League Baseball, NBA, uh, NFL. The FCI includes prices of two average-priced adult tickets, two average-priced child tickets, four small soft drinks, two small other drinks, by other drinks we mean an adult beverage, four regular size hot dogs, parking for one car, two game programs, and two of their least expensive adult size adjustable caps. Now, the average ticket price in the following tables represent the average cost of a ticket for each member of the family. Um, we found this under the website nflcheapskate.com, real fan cost index. All right. So we're going to look at this. Team Marketing Report tracks cost for a family. Four. We already talked about all that, blah, blah, blah. FCI equals two adult tickets plus two child tickets plus four small soft drinks plus two small other drinks plus four hot dogs plus cost to park, two programs, and two caps. Now, um, to make this easier, the two adult tickets and the two child tickets are combined into four average tickets, the average of an adult and the child tickets that are in there. Okay. So we'll look at it in this little matrix here. The FCI for each Texas team in professional baseball, basketball, and football for 2006 and 2007 is shown in the following two tables. The soft drink column includes the price of one drink and its size and ounces. The size and ounces is in the parentheses, as you can see here described in that title um, of the column. So, um, we need to find the FCI of these missing blanks um, for each Texas team in professional baseball, basketball, football. The soft drink, we already said that. Um, this is the 2007. This is 2006. It's the only difference between these two slides. All right. Complete the 2006 table by calculating the missing values. Okay. We have two, uh, four average price tickets times $26.66, four small soft drinks, $4, two small adult beverages or other drinks, $7 a piece, um, four hot dogs at 
Parking was ten dollars. Two, uh, I think they're called uh, programs. Yeah, two programs at four dollars, and two hats for eleven dollars. So what was the price on that? Um, let's see. How about uh, two thousand six? What is the price? It's one ninety two sixty four. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, here we go. 192.64 for Astros in 2006. Um, the Mavericks in 2006. We're gonna add those values up. Um, four fifty-four dollar tickets. Uh, four two dollar and seventy-five drinks. Two four dollar drinks. Four four dollar hot dogs. Twenty dollars to park. Two six dollar programs and two fifteen dollar adult size uh, hats. With a total cost of three hundred thirteen dollars and ninety-six cents, substantially more than going to the Astros game. Um, Rockets, um, no cost on the program. Notice that. Four thirty-eight dollar tickets, uh, four four dollar uh, small drinks, two five dollar and seventy-five cent other drinks, <clears throat> four four dollar and twenty-five cent hot dogs. Parking is fifteen dollars. Program was nothing. Two twenty dollar hats. Fan cost index to go to the Rockets is two fifty-four oh six. It's cheaper than the Mavericks, isn't it? Texans. Um, you look at the fan cost index. Remember this, how it's set up, because you'll be expected to remember it um, yourself. Cost to go to the Texans is three thirty-seven eighty-eight. There are seven components in the FCI. I find the largest percent increase in a single component from two thousand six to two thousand seven. Now, if you're asked an increase percentage, <clears throat> the best way to do it is find the difference between the two costs in the change or the change in the percent or the change in the amount and divide by the original or the first year's cost. So 2007 minus 2006 divided by 2006. Um, we can find this out easily um, by doing that information. Um, which of the Dallas areas had the following during 2006 most expensive soft drink in terms of price per ounce or least expensive soft drink in terms of price per ounce? You're just going to divide the $3 by the ounces, and you can easily determine that um, by taking this information and figuring it out. Just dividing this number by that number, and um, we can look into it. $3 divided by 20, that's 15 cents an ounce. Uh, $4 divided by 21, that's 19 cents an ounce. Uh, 250 divided by 24, <clears throat> that's 10.4 cents an ounce. <clears throat> the Spurs has pretty cheap drink. Um, 24 ounce soda for $2.50. $2.75 divided by 15, oops, 15 ounces, 18, a little more expensive. Four divided by 22, um, expensive, 18 cents. Um, 3.50 divided by 32, 10.9 cents per ounce. 325 divided by 21 is 15 cents. So we're going to go back to the Spurs. The 250 divided by 24 ounces is 10.4 ounces. That's your best, least expensive. Most expensive, probably the Rangers. Um, $3 or $4 for 21 cents, the Astros. I don't know. Um, you have to look at it carefully. Um, the higher this number, the better the deal. Um, the bigger this number, the worse the deal. So. You look at it from that perspective. All right. I don't always go to sporting events, but when I do, I know how to calculate the value my money gets using FCI. Okay. So there is a lesson in the Google Classroom. Be sure to write down the FCI formula um, before you try to do that because it's going to be difficult to do if you don't have that information. Um, the assignment is in the Google Classroom. So uh, go take care of that. In the meantime, be blessed and uh, be a blessing.